Today we are taking a look at 9 different heroes section design that you can incorporate it in your own website. So make sure to stick around. To get started we will examine the most common layout likely because it's the one of the best for conversion. It's my to go classic and really disappoints. Thought it can become dull. So we don't want to use it for every web design project. A slight variation of this layout involves shifting the image of the canvas. This particular exam works well with the faint grease lines and perfect white space between each element. I love the background color behind the image. It adds dimension and draws attention to the hamburger menu. The next layout plays the header and the call to action in the middle. This can be challenging to execute as you need the right elements surrounding the focal point. However, it emphasizes whenever you place in the center. This layout can make a strong impact but ensure that the imager aligns with your message or it won't come together effectively. This is a slight variation of the previous layout and usually we have told not to design like this, just placing elements in the center with a lot of space around. However, allowing this portion of image and clip above the fold makes the composition more interesting. I have seen many companies, including ClickUp, use this recently. ClickUp has a clean message on the screen and it works because I'm a ClickUp user myself. I like this design because it's subtle. They said one app to replace them all and they keep background clean matching their message. This is a great example of message aligning with the design. I come across another website with the same design idea. But the messaging combined with a mobile phone feel flat for me. The headline was confusing and I had to scroll down to understand what they do. It's a pity because the design is beautiful but it highlights the importance of intended behind the design and the message you have trying to cover. This section is called a bento grid, named after Japanese land box. It's an excellent way to fit a lot of information into a small space, like a bento box. A bento grid divides the design space into distinguishing components, giving it aesthetic apply, especially like how this design draws attention to the call to action. This website turn the case studies and project into a flying system, showcasing creativity. They use a classic two columns layout, balance with the color and contrast. Bento Grid is a perfect for home automation website, making it feel like you have control over everything. This style is also a print on e-commerce website. Apple use variations of the Bento Grid, Although is an attractive design trend, it has downfalls. If not executed well, it can be overwhelming and hard conversion rates. Understanding design principles like hierarchy and color theory, it's crucial to achieving balance. This layout is one of my fave go-to and has been for a while. I like having a title and call to action above the image. This works well for many types of websites and always creates a clean, crispy feel. Mailchimp has done it here with a simple, no frilling design. This impacting design illustrators the importance of typography and font pairing into hero section. We have here variation of the previous layout with additional info of either side and a center image. This works well into section. This layout reverses the image and text placing the image at the top and text at the bottom. The headline is at both the top and bottom, with bento influence evidented. Notice the design balance users typically read from left to right. I prefer the second option with a big typography at the top, encouraging user to scroll down. Lastly, the classical background image with a text overlay. It's crucial to ensure your text and call to action 
are clear. Here, our part of image is a darket for readable, emphasizing highlights part of the image. Note how the image color matches the brand. They are 9th grade hero section layers you can use in your design. That's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to check out our channel for more content. I'm Przemysław, see you in next video. Thanks for watching. If you like it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Take care, until next time.